Well, you bring help, Galen. We'll try not to leave tracks. Run closer to the water. Don't be afraid to get your feet wet. Oh, ho, ho. my tracks are not cause for suspicion in this part of the world. And besides, we are not quite so fond of water as you humans. Yuck. Oh, boy. I wonder if this is Pismo Beach or Malibu. Hey, look. That's not a survivor, it's a victim. Come on, Pete. Still breathing. Pete. Somebody must have put him on the outgoing tide, deliberately. Let's get him out of here. <sighs> here we go. Your name, huh? Hey, come on, you understand? In shock or death? It's hard to say. You might not understand this. I am dead. Leave me. He understands. I don't. Hey, listen to me, old man. Listen to me. What's your name? Where do you come from? I am dead. You heard him. Let's go. Now we can't just leave him here. But you listen to him. Now you're just talking yourself into trouble. Hey. There you go, pal. Come on. You want to tell me your name now? I am dead. The gods have willed it. Look, uh, you know that, and we know that. All we'd like to know is, um, what was your name while you were still alive, huh? God tell. My name was Gato. Gato, huh? Well, that's a start. Hey, Pete, look. For identification, maybe? Yeah, maybe. I'll tell you one thing. Send me on there for life. That's a band of an enforced labor camp. He'll be killed if he's found wandering so far from the permitted area. What's a permitted area? Oh, it varies. It's some distance from the labor center. It's a method they have to stop humans from straying. I... I am dead. Leave me. The gods are willing. Poor old guy. Somebody sure sold him a bill of goods. Question. 
if he wants to be dead, why can't he be dead? And I've known a lot of humans who would be better off. Is that your question? Well... Here's the answer. Galen, you're going to stay here and keep an eye on him. We're going to go out and scout the area and see if we can find out who old Gatto here belongs to. Does that meet with your approval? Come on, Pete, let's take a walk. Hey, don't mind him. He just got up on the wrong side of the cave, huh? Oh. See you later. Hey. Sure made some changes. Yeah. yeah. Pete, look. The bracelets. What do you think? I don't know, Pete. They've got a lot of artillery down there. You! What are you doing here? Who are you? Where do you come from? Well, actually, uh, we're just passing through. Uh, we would have called ahead, but... Silence! Uh... This way! Gatto live here? Looks like old Gatto's got a lot of acquaintances and no close friends. Yep. They're stray humans, sir. I found them hiding near the fishing area, probably waiting to steal fish. All right, don't just stand there. More problems. Send him in! Huh. Harlot's all I need! Three wagon loads behind already this period, and the fertilizer factory is wanting more! 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 Huh? No! How many fish do you have in your gullet, eh? We didn't steal any fish. Ha! You weren't no band of a fisherman. How else would you get fish to eat if not by stealing them? 
Well, if you'll let me explain. You see, we were... Silence! If they're not fishermen, they're of no use to me. Take them out and kill them. Come, wait a minute, wait a minute. Hold it! You made a mistake. You know, uh, we're probably about the two best fishermen in this whole part of the world. If you lie, you'll die. Oh, no, no lie. On the level, uh... Nobody fishes, but nobody fishes like uh, we do. Well, how is it that you're not wearing the bracelet of a fisherman, eh? We were farmers. We were just released from a big farm inland. Because uh, all we've ever wanted to do is fish. We've been practicing. You! You have a good wind to fish long underwater. Yes, yes sir. You have your release papers. No, no, sir. Unfortunately, we lost them. Yeah, while we were fishing. Huh. I could use two more good producers. Have to discard the old ones. Takes forever to grow the new ones. Hmm. We'll let the fire decide. Uh, the fire? We'll test you tomorrow. If you can prove your swimming ability under the sheet of flame, I'll ban you myself. Two new producers in the prime. <laughs> Bandor will be delighted. Actually, uh, you know, I don't think that we're really ready for uh, swimming under fire. Then it's out of my hands, of course. You will be killed immediately before the gods can be offended. Guard them. No food before the test. If we have to kill them, I don't want to waste any fish rations on them. Quotas, quotas. Out. friends have a saying, I think it goes something like this, you are a pain in the neck. And if anything happens to them, I will personally feed you to the sharks, piece by piece. It is the will of the gods. Oh, shut up. It is the will of Galen that you stay right here. You know, they've been gone for a whole day. I'm going to see if I can find them now. Do you understand? Produce an extra two, three hundred pounds a day. Test them. Come. Good luck, pal. Looks like you won the toss. I say, I think that's the starting gun.
show off? <laughs> you know, one big producer to another. I hope we've graduated. We don't have to take any more tests. Right. Move! Bandor will arrive tomorrow with new quotas, no doubt. He will expect me to squirm and complain. He always wanted to put his nephew in charge here. I think I will surprise Bandor with these new fishermen. I want to see his face. <laughs> Bring them along! Did they say any more? They said nothing. I am sure they have seen my father. Gato is alive. Silence. If the gods who you speak his name, they're going to punish us all. The sea's taken him. It's the law. Now be still. Well, uh, let them occupy the hut of the old discarded fisherman. You hear that? Ha ah, ah. ha! There you are. Now, I warn you, the next time you strayed, you would be punished severely, and I meant it. Now, you turn over me. Wait. Stay. Who are you? <sighs> Permit me to speak with you, sir. Hmm. Stay there. Oh. Ah, what a lovely place. Uh, my name is Zuma, and I am on this expedition from Central City, and you have just found my two rather ignorant servants. They're always wandering off, you know how it is, and I'm very grateful to you, and I'll just take them right along now. Uh, hold on. This is all very irregular. That's not the story they told me. It isn't. Well, of course it isn't. They are liars. Oh, they are, the most, they are the most terrible lies. They lie all the time about everything, you know. <laughs> but, uh... I'll, I'll, I'll take them off your hands. It is out of my hands. Since they have lied, only the gods of the sea can decide their fate. Hmm. Well, uh, that sounds reasonable enough. Who are these gods of the sea? The sharks. <laughs> have my servants fed to the sharks in order to satisfy some primitive custom. I'm sorry, my friend. It may not appeal to your sophisticated Central City taste, but in areas of production like this with minimum security, it is the law. Uh, send them out. Uh, wait. At least, let me have the satisfaction of giving these troublesome humans a piece of my mind. Hmm? Oh, very well. Oh. See any chance of getting out of this at all? I don't. Here, take this knife. It may help. Remind me to tell you someday how grateful we both are. Liars, huh? Zuma. Enough! Enough! Send them to the gods! Watch it, Galen. I don't think they're really particular who they shoot.
Get the production started. Look! That's that. Your law has been carried out. Now I think I'll take my slaves and be on my way. I am not so sure about that. Huh. The float carrying old Gato to the gods? It's on the beach with the lashings cut. Someone has defied the god. It is sacrilege. High treason. I knew it. He's alive. The old man can't be far. Find him. I don't think they can leave just now. This is a matter for Bandor to decide. If the old man lives, someone must die. you stay out of sight, others may be killed. Now, you don't want that to happen, do you? It does not matter. It may not matter to you, but most humans do not share your enthusiasm with dying. Look, I promise you, Gato, I promise you, sooner or later, you will be able to die. In the meantime, stay in the cave. Mm. We'd like to thank you for uh, rushing in there and telling them we were liars. It was a big help. Well, I couldn't think of anything else to do. And besides, if I hadn't found you, you two would have been banded as fishermen for the rest of your lives. Hey, you know, we got to do something. There's a big wheel that's coming in here tomorrow. Hmm, that's Bandor. He's in charge of many of the producing areas, and he's the one who presides over the banding of the fisherman ceremony. Galen, you're pretty thick with her tongue, aren't you? Can't you get us out of here? I am primarily concerned that Herton's patrols do not find Gato. I mean, if he points you two out, you will be killed instantly. Okay. Today is fair fish. Oh, wonderful. Move! All right.
where was he when we needed him yesterday? Move along, you two! That's why we're doing it, to keep on living. Yeah. Yeah, you know, you go to school, you work hard, you wind up fishing for raw material for a fertilizer factory. Yeah. Year after year, they raise my quotas. The law requires that I discard worn-out producers like Gatto, who can no longer pass the test, even before new offspring can be raised to take their place. Oh, I do so sympathize with your problem. Oh. Yeah, but then, of course, these two slaves are mine. Oh, I'm not too sure the law of possession holds out here. After all, they came to me and asked to be fishermen. Oh, <laughs> but they're liars. Oh, I told you that. They are such terrible liars. <laughs> oh, but the gods of the sea said differently. But they'll try to escape. No, I am sure of it. I am having them closely watched. If they try to leave, they'll be shot. Well, then you will have gained nothing. And I will be our two good slaves. But I told you that it's out of my hands. When Bandor comes for the ceremony of the bracelets, he will make the decision. And because Bandor is as interested in increased production as you are, you think that he is going to decide in your favor. Are you questioning the ethics of Bandor? He has high connections in Central City. No. Oh. He knows Urko himself. Urko himself? Ooh. That's what he said? Yeah, well, that's just great. Bandor knows Orko, and Orko knows us. All the more reason why we should split before the big man gets here. Yeah, I agree, except that Hurton's got his anti-split devices all over town. Uh, all of this over old Gatto, who no one wanted in the first place. <laughs> Hello. Gatto is my father. Hey, well, come on over here. It's all right. Galen's a friend. Hey, sit down. Why do they do a thing like that to your father? It is the law. So that's why Hurton looked at you when the writer came in with the news. Romar, my husband, is afraid that we will both die, that we'll all be punished. And now listen, we saved your father against his wishes. And we took him to a hiding place. But he could die there if we don't find some way to help him. Take me to him. Uh, there's nothing we'd like better, but they've got us pretty heavily guarded. I can help. Your prisoner's here, but remember, I can come and go as I please. So? Well, if she's with me, we can just casually stroll right out of the village. All right. Okay. Just leave here like you're just taking a walk. Oh. for Din Din. It's all right. Where is Soma? Hey, quiet, will you? You're gonna wake the guards' head rifleman out there. Our friend took it to see your father. So just calm down. It's a trick. The guards are trying to try to it. Soma, hold it. Back. It's a trick. Soma. Wait here! 
can't move it. Yeah, I went clean through it. You're lucky you're here. I won't be able to pass the test for Bandor. Here, what do you mean? I knew it. I knew it. Now I'll be given to the sea gods like Gatto. I knew it was death to mention his name. But you did this. Good trip. Tiring? Uh -huh. Whenever you greet me with such big smiles, I have the feeling you are holding bad news behind your back. Not so. In fact, I have a special surprise for you. Gone. Factory workers are getting worse and worse. I'm not sending the wagon ropes back. Look, go, go get some in the storehouse. You should have checked. I should have checked. How about you? Well, one of them should have checked. Check. Thank you. I'm not interested in projections. I'm interested in production. My nephew said that. Very clever, eh? Yes, very clever. Unfortunately, we cannot catch fish with words. Or promises. What is this great news? You have three young ones for me to band? to replace the old one you discarded. Only one has been raised whose age and size, but two full-grown fishermen have joined us like they were sent by the gods. Uh, now Herton is claiming partnership with the gods. <laughs> Bring in the two new fishermen. You'll see. Two excellent recruits. They not only spear fish while swimming under the test of fire, they kill sharks with their bare hands. Two full-grown fishermen for you to band. Sent by the gods, you say? Well, actually, they are um, runaway slaves, once owned by a rather irresponsible chimpanzee named uh, Zuma. Ah, I knew there was some catch to it. I dispute his claim to them. He's here? To claim them? Does he have papers? Here, yeah, you see. Strong, many prime years of production in them. You say this, this Zuma has no papers? None. Or why would he have stolen one of our female slaves? His skins have not been long in the water. But they kill sharks with their bare hands. I would say this Zuma has made an unwise move. We will just let him keep his worthless female. Tomorrow, at the ceremony, I will ban these two myself. I knew you would decide quickly and fairly. Someone has to keep these producing villagers going. again, ever. You know, I don't feel much like spearing fish and ducking sharks for the rest of my life, either. This thing better work, Alan. It will, Pete. But we're going to be fitted with a pair of permanent handcuffs. Yeah. 
human. Don't worry, everything's settled. You and your father have nothing to worry about. Come along. New areas are being opened for crops. More fertilizer is needed, which means more fish. There must be a limit. We cannot just keep increasing production. Now, now. If you keep getting these godsend producers. And where are they? What? Well, I don't see these two new surprises who kill sharks with their bare hands. God, where are the two new producers? Sir, they're missing. They're not here. Missing? <laughs> Your surprises are getting tiresome, Herton. your daughter to live. Go. the dozens from some from a net mighty bandor it can trap more fish in a few hours than your men could spear in a month just another of the surprises i promised you and even old men and women can fish in this way you have all the fish you need and the gods will be pleased so you can let your old people and your injured live on in your village that, that is so I, that is certainly so all part of my plan now, the producers will have all they want to eat, and the um, security problems will be almost eliminated. What has this discard to do with your plan, Herton? Uh, uh -huh. Mighty Bandor, Herton has saved his greatest surprise for last. Tell him, Zuma. Oh, uh, <coughs> this magic webbing. With Chingzing Fish is old Gato's idea. And Hutton has saved Gato so that he can teach others how to make and mend the webbing. It's easy. Hutton, I knew you could do it. Now that is why I have kept you on here, despite all efforts of those higher ups to replace you with my nephew. I appreciate it. I always do my best, as you can see. Extra rations for all from now on. A celebration. At first, we start with the banding ceremony. Uh, sir, would the mighty Bandor do us the honor of assisting in the greatest catch of all? And what is that? Come with me, sir.
it's not fitting that the greatest bounty of the sea should be taken by a mere human. Therefore, this revolving reel will be held by Zuma. Uh, I don't understand. Oh, well, uh, uh, you, you see, uh, uh, the largest fish can break the net. But this cord will entangle it in its loop. Uh, yes, sir. Uh, well, uh, here. You hold tight. Tight, tight. Tight. Come on now. Come along. We must not keep Andor waiting. Aye, aye, sir. Ha, 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 ha. You watch this. Mm. You were liars. I just had no idea you were that good at it. Yeah. Hey, listen, Galen. As soon as we're away from here, I want to have a little talk with you about that. Yeah, and I'd like to discuss this uh, owner-slave relationship with you. Well, personally, I don't want to have to pull you two out of another scrape. Uh, right away. <laughs> 